Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm gonna do a little review on the new cake mix foundation from the Beauty Bakery. And let me just, let me just take a moment here and just bask in this moment of the Beauty Bakery emailing me. Me! I didn't have, I didn't reach out to them. They reached out to me. And they sent me some stuff because because they liked what they saw on Instagram. And I was like, oh my God, oh, snap, what? The Beauty Bakery, like, I'm just, I'm so hyped. Because like, I've always wanted to try them. I really, really have, but it's like, I don't have any money. So I was so, so happy, so happy to get this, to get this. Ah! Let me, okay. Let me bring it back. I'm gonna open the package. <gasps> this is so cute. Look at it. Look, look, look. <sighs> Before I even get into the products, this is one thing that I love, love, love about the Beauty Bakery and why I've always wanted to try them. Like just their packaging. It's just so creative. It's just so imaginative and fun. And then the fact that it's a black owned business, it's just like, this is just my type of company, you know what I mean? And as soon as I get some money, y'all, I'm gonna buy some more stuff, I really am, but I just, I, I'm not working right now, so. Anywho, so let's get into this box. Oh my gosh, they gave me the blending eggs. Blending eggs, and it comes in a little egg carton. Oh my God! This is just the cutest thing ever, I can't. Okay, it said, oh my God, it even says nutrition facts for like how to use it. And then we got the cake mix foundation. So this is what I'm gonna test out. Okay, and it says, oh my gosh, this is just so cute. Like it looks like a little cake box, you know, like the little, what is it called, cake mixes? Well, duh, that's why it's called cake mix because it looks like cake mix box. It's really early, it's like 7 a.m. and I have to go to class at nine, so don't judge me. So on the back it tells you, the directions it says and it looks just like like a recipe it's so cool like it has the ingredients so you're gonna need baking oil oh i don't have any baking oil flour blending egg and bakeware which is your brush so i think i just have the foundations so that's what i'm gonna test out i don't have the oil or the um or the flour okay, so they sent me two i guess to see if i could get my perfect shade okay so this is number 27, and this one's 31. I took out the whole thing because my nails, it was not working. Okay, so I just dampened my beauty blender, one of the ones from the little carton. It's really, really soft. It's really, really nice. All right, so I'm gonna swatch these out and see which one would work best for me. So this one's 27. All right, and this is 31. So it's looking like 31 is gonna be my shade because 27 is a tad too dark. Let me turn down my lights here. This one was 31, I'm sorry, this one was 27 and this is 31. I don't have any of the oil, like I said, so I can't do um, the full directions, but I do have some serum and sunscreen on my face already. So my face is really moisturized and um, pretty silky f feeling. So I'm just gonna skip the, the oil for this. So I'm gonna go into 31, gonna pump some of it on my hand here. I'm just gonna dab it in with the Beauty Blender. And I'm gonna start from the inner of my face, like they said, and work towards the outer. Hold on, let's get a close up in here. Oh, that actually matches really well. Okay, so it's definitely looking like it gets darker as it sits on your skin, so it oxidizes. Cause it's looking a tad dark for my skin, <laughs> for my for my neck here. Yeah, it definitely oxidizes. Like you see how light it goes on, and then this is how it dries. Which is nice, so it's not as ashy as it looks initially. 
but it's a tad dark for my skin, but that's okay. I can work with it. I'm just pale right now, so I'm sure it'll be fine in the summer. Okay, so this side, except for this part, this side hasn't been done yet. This side has. Okay, I'm, I'm feeling it. I can see why they said to use this with an oil though, because if you look up really, really close, it looks a little powdery on my skin, just a, a little tiny bit. It feels medium, if that makes sense. I mean, it doesn't feel light, but it's not heavy. So it's not as light as the LA Girl Foundation, that's terrible coverage that I've been using. So it's not as light as that, but it's not as heavy as like the Milani Full Coverage Foundation. It's kind of in between, but I, I really like it, okay. I like it. It also dries really quickly, like really quickly. I'm not sure how that's gonna work when it comes to blending in the concealer and everything. Maybe that's something that I should do before with this foundation instead of after. Because I like, usually I like for my foundation, my concealer, my contour to be able to meld together and kind of melt. And like they're all liquid slash cream at the same time and they dry around the same time. But this foundation seems to dry really quickly. Like it's, it's really, really dry. So. I'm afraid to put concealer and con or cream concealer and cream contour on because I'm afraid it's gonna move the foundation. So I think next time I'm, I'm gonna do my concealer and my cream contour underneath the foundation instead of on top because I don't think that's gonna work with this foundation. Yeah, see, so it's getting kind of difficult even now to blend the foundation because it's dry. <laughs> that foundation really stays on where you put it because. I missed some over here because of my nose ring and now it's dry and it's gonna be hard to blend this out. Can you see that? I mean, damn, this foundation really dries quickly. Like, you gotta work with it quick, man. Because once it's on there, it's on there. <laughs> really on there. Like when it said smudge proof, they meant smudge proof. They meant it, absolutely. All right, so I'm gonna go finish the rest of my face and I'm gonna be right back. Okay, y'all, so I didn't film this part because I was just gonna spray my face with setting spray, but look at what the setting spray did. Like, do you see the spots? Like my set, that's never happened before when I spray my foundation. I hope, I mean, it seems to be drying in the spots because like there was more over here. So I guess when it dries, it, gets the right color, but that is so weird. Like I've never seen my foundation change color when you hit it with the setting spray. And now it's uneven. I don't know guys, I don't know. Seems like whenever anything wet hits the foundation, it changes color. That's, uh... oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, so see the spots are going away now, but it still leaves like, Kind of looks like water stains. I don't even know if it, the camera will pick it up, but there's like an uneven texture now because of the setting spray. It's weird. Oh my gosh, can you imagine if you were in this foundation in the rain? That would be hilarious. Your face would actually melt. <laughs> All right, so the foundation is on. I only put on um, some concealer underneath my eyes and then my powder contour and then some setting powder. Um, so far, my skin isn't, my skin is saying no, unfortunately. And I feel so bad because I really, really want this foundation to work, but look, even, even doing this, like, it's so drying on my skin. Maybe it's because my face is dry, but it was pretty moisturized before I put it on. It's. Like that's what I usually do in the mornings. My face feels very dry now. So my face, like, you see that texture here? 
that's not normally there. And my face just looks very dry, especially around my mouth area. And my smile lines are already starting to indent. And usually it takes a couple hours for that to happen. Um, yeah. I feel like I need to put on lotion. I personally, for me, I wouldn't use this foundation with any kind of powder. Like, at least not for my face, because my face is not <laughs> the same. Like the powder and the foundation. Whoa, girl, what what you doing? Like that's a lot of that's a lot of dryness, and my face feels so dry. It does. My lips feel dry too, but that's because this is a dollar <laughs> lipstick. <laughs> but um, yeah, I'm gonna come back after class in about eleven hours. Nail school, y'all. Things all day. Anyway, so I'm going to see y'all. So we're going to see how this foundation has held up. Okay? All right, y'all. So I am back. Um, I got some things to say about this foundation. So as you might be able to tell, I haven't changed my lighting since this morning. Um, but I look kind of orange now. <laughs> or at least... I felt really orange when looking at myself in the mirror. Just like, it just seemed so opaque and very, very one color and matte and not skin-like. So you can definitely tell that I'm wearing foundation. In fact, one of the girls um, in school was like, oh, I love your makeup. Like, what foundation are you using? I was like, oh, Beauty Bakery cake mix, you know, blah, blah, blah. She was like, oh, yeah, cool. It looks really good. And I was like, yeah, you know, it's a little bit too too heavy for me. It's kind of thick. And she was like, oh, no, I really like the pasty look. And I was like, oh, so you agree I look pasty? And she was like, yeah, I really like, like, the heavy makeup, like, the cakey kind of look. So I was like, oh. So I guess my makeup looks really cakey. Awesome. And it it does. It does. It's... Mm, I'm... I'm, ugh, I'm at, like, such a crossroads because I so, 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 so freaking badly want to like this. I really, 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 like... Like, I really, really do. They're a black-owned company. They're modeled after desserts and, like, sweet stuff. Like, it's so fucking cute. And it's just, like... I really, really want to like this, but I can't. I really hate it. I do. It's not for me. It is not for. Mm-mm. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna show y'all some close-ups, but um, I I've, I've never felt like uncomfortable wearing makeup or wearing foundation. You know, I usually wear makeup to feel more comfortable, feel more confident, but today I felt so uncomfortable because I knew that my face itched like it because it's dry it feels like it's dry and it's very itchy and I knew that I was streaking and that I was like getting some splotches and that you can tell that my foundation wasn't didn't look good like you could just tell so I was just very uncomfortable because like all day I was like oh crap I touched my face like am I gonna leave like a spot is it gonna be noticeable and I've, I've never experienced a foundation that made me more uncomfortable than not wearing foundation. So I really can't wait to wash it off, honestly. I'm just, I'm so, like maybe it's me. Maybe, it, maybe it's me, it must be, right? Because I feel like nobody else has, has, has this issue. But even look, like look, look at how orange I am compared to my arms. And that's not how orange it was this morning, I swear. like. It oxidized a lot. Like, look at that. A lot, right? I just... I really can't wait to wash my face. I've been dying to come home and wash my face and just film this last part of the video so I could finally wash it off. Like, man. Maybe it's because I didn't put on the 
the oil, like they said. But I mean, my my face was really moisturized because like I do this Korean skincare thing, which is like twelve steps, and it's like serums and oils and lotions and all this stuff. So like my skin was is really moisturized in the mornings, you know, after I do my skincare, and I never experienced a drying foundation like this to this extent. Um, it just did not work for my skin type. And I can't imagine setting more powder on top of it like they said to because I just put a little bit of powder underneath my eyeballs and no, it's just, no. Okay, so I'm gonna do some close-ups so that y'all can see how it's been settling into my smile lines and you can really notice the pores now because it seems to seep into the pores and make them more noticeable. And then when any kind of liquid comes in contact with your face, like God forbid, it rains on you because you will be shit out of luck. Like, look, just a little bit of precipitation of wetness. Do you see that? Do like, honestly, imagine if you got caught in the rain. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so there were the close-ups. I don't know if you could actually see on my nose, but you can see every single pore in my nose. It didn't work for me. Hopefully it will work for you, but I'm gonna have some fun with it. So, so like I said, what if it rained, right? What if it rained? Let, let's test that out. So this is what would happen if it rained on you. Like your whole day would be over, just done. I mean, no, I, I, I don't, I don't know. I've never ever seen a product do this. Maybe because I only buy cheap products from like CVS, but I've never seen a foundation do this. Is this what high end makeup does? Do, do they change colors? Cause like, I'm not used to this. Maybe it's supposed to do that. I don't know. If, if it's supposed to, let me know in the comments. Maybe I'm just tripping because this has never happened to me before. <laughs> but seriously, like what if I cried? And I cry a lot. Like what if I cried today? Everything would have been done. I mean, <laughs> I've never experienced something like this before. I, I really haven't. So if anything, it's interesting. <laughs> From afar, it actually looks really good. From afar. Because everything is one color. But then when you get up close, it's like, oh, you wearing a lot of makeup and you didn't even apply it correctly. Because that's what it looks like. Like, once it seeps in and settles into your face. <sighs> Man. It really kills me to say this, honestly. But it's a no for me. I still have faith in Beauty Bakery. Maybe it's just because of the foundation. It just doesn't work with my skin, with my skin type. Like this is the first product I've ever tried from Beauty Bakery. So you cannot judge the company off of my one review, obviously. But as far as the foundation goes, <laughs> doesn't work for me. But I really, really, really want to get my hands on all the other products. Bummer. But all is not lost. Hope is not lost. I'm sure that I will try another product and it will be fine. But the foundation, not for me. And that's okay. It's not for everybody. If you guys try it, and if you have tried it and you like it, let me know. And if you tried it and have experienced any of the symptoms that I experienced, let me know that as well. Like, let me just tell me in the comment section. Let's have a whole conversation going. Like, I want to know more about this. Like, is this supposed to happen? I don't know, but I, I would I would like to hear from you guys. Um, if you do want to try it out, I will list it down below where you can get it. Um, yeah, that being said, if you try it and you don't like it, it's not my fault.
it's an honest review here. So, these were just my, my first impressions. Do what you will with it. Welp, that's it. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.